Right, I'm not entirely sure how they managed to see uh, seize my pulse, but the ap appearance of the Hansa should probably be some sort of event. So maybe that's tied to that. I don't like it when games do that, when games just kind of... Here's this event! Enjoy! I could try and fight them. Um... Who is the Hunter anyway? Where are they? Oh. The Hansa. Where are you? Where's your seat of power? Pardon. in Hardland. You have like a family tree? No, he has no family. So yeah, he was basically just summoned into existence due to how it works. At some point the hunter is just going to appear. So we'll have to fight the Holy Roman Empire now. Over trade posts, because they just took two away from us. And that I don't like. I don't care for it, I'd say. But with me leading troops, there is a good, good, good chance. Um... Of actually having a chance fighting against the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, let's just watch this, okay? Let's just watch how we throw around our fists. Yeah. <laughs> Obliterated. Completely dismantled. We're splitting our troops up. Our friend, he has forfeited his office. My friend, why would you do that? You. You're not important enough to be anything else. Can we upgrade anything here? String rounds are still a potential upgrade and this is almost done here. Find those two armies. And our northern army led by me is going to be just enough to deal with what comes around here. I think at least. Figure it out, shall we? Let's give ourselves a good flanker. Our dear friend from decades past. Our 5,000 against your 5,500, how does it sound? We might lose, but uh, I'm willing to see how it goes. Uh. Yeah, our flank took out two flanks easy. <laughs> That's insane. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, someone won. And that someone is us. Stand on these troops. Still own Dunsick. Uh, 
how do I interact with these? Can't declare war against him. Just sees two fully upgraded trading poles. That's so very uncool. Okay, let's stand on our ships too. And we can create a new title apparently, the Duchy of Novogrod. Ah yes, all this is ours now. Is there a city here somewhere? Barony. Not really, there are no cities. Okay, let's hand these out like candy. Ah, our son, he should be our heir too. He turned out fairly well. Could have turned out better. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Minor titles. They're definitely shortcuts for all this, but not bad. Right. Designated regent will be our boy. He will also be the high admiral. Visitor can be this guy. That. I judge, I don't care. Guy is dead almost anyway. You're a halfway competent martial, aren't you, kid? Yeah. Let's have him be the marshal. Let us create the Duchy of Novogrod. And let's give it out of our family not of our blood <laughs> who to give it to wait don't we have Let's check our one filter that we had built earlier. Men and my dynasty. Let's see, there's Riku, my nephew. Let's give him that. Or does this disqualify him? I think that disqualifies him from succession. So let's give it to our kinsman. So Olaf, you have been doing a great job for me. Over years and years and years. You get this. And you get another piece too. You get... What is this down here? Colm. And the city of Colm. And... Potsdain. You get... This down here, Rusa. Rusa. And... Ivar gets the duchy. Get the Grand City of Guard. And... What? Aruga. And you get the Republic of Holmgard. Everything beneath it. Now this is properly in our hands. We have just started experiencing chest pains. So. so you are quite strong. 57,000 troops. Probably join a defensive pact against him. Christian defensive pact. Sweden, France, everyone. Yeah, let's join this defensive pact against them. They've never made any trouble for us, but... They are growing quite large, and we'd rather have others help us. 
if we ever have the need. 39 Marshall. Holy hell. But we contracted something, which isn't great. A little bit of a treatment there. Okay, we have completed Aegir's lands by fully upgrading our palace. So now we only need to reach the 60 trade posts. That's cool. Took a while, mainly because the palace upgrades just take a while. That's, that's just how it is. So of course he took fully upgraded trade posts from us as well. How else would have been? No other option was there. But we will cope. By upgrading some more of our trade posts. I don't really care about this one. We'll leave it as it is. Did we do construction by now? No, but we should have. There we go. Now we can do something about our hospital as well. If we could find it there. Portland. Yeah, let's upgrade the sick house to level 2. The Black Death it will come eventually. Nothing about it. Save me, my friend. Yes, he did. And just imprison this guy. Yes. Our nephew, you go. Yeah, this way. And we are losing the Republic right now. Guess it's time to die, my friend. What a shame it is. Oh no, we have consumption. Ah, but we have just finished our book, Ordinary Beasts and How to Avoid Them. I swear, if this is a low quality book, it's a quality three. Plot power defense plus 10%. I mean, it's not bad, but what, how? How is this a martial book? At all. Okay, let's go for as long as you know what you're doing because you can get overconsumption. And I think we have a mild case anyway. So we have this five thing. But we're too far away to talk to the... Chinese, sadly. Otherwise, I would have given that five level five artifact that we can't use anymore to them. How are you not falling apart anyway? Probably due to all the elections going on. You have an army of vassals. And we are losing our campaign again. Let's pump some more money in there. Really make a difference. Where are you leading troops? The leading troops? Oh no, you are being our marshal. That's why you look like that. Sick house was con expanded. We are threatening 50% because we took a big bite out of Estonia there. I mean, right now we are a bit of a challenge to the Holy Roman Empire, but not, not enough. How would you look at that? Our friend, the Lord Mayor. And be a commander again. Of course. 
He had forfeited his office, so that's how that worked. For this family we're going to leave. They can build their trade posts and add them to the shuffle. And we can take out some money again. Kill this guy. He has too much respect in my eyes. What do we know? Anyone trying to kill us? How much money do we earn currently? A hundred gold. Let's pump our retinue a bit. I feel that's a good option. Add another thousand horse. I mean, it's 1,250 because we also get heavy cavalry, but yeah. Ransom him. And also, let's check if we can ransom more people. Ah, we don't want to ransom Sigrut there. I'm happy with ransoming this kid. This guy. This guy. Not him. He stays there. I'm quite fascinated with the Holy Roman Empire not moving over in this direction here. But then again, they're quite large already. France, how are you holding up? You are more or less a little tiny player. Oh, look. Jerusalem has come over here. Egypt is still Christian. By some miracle. There's still some of our bloodline in here? Probably not. That's what happens if you give girl beneficiaries sounds sexist but it's just the truth i'm sorry look at that look at all that income just look at it can't upgrade anything here shipyard you can be upgraded you get a big fat port We can go through some trade poles. Let's jump through the world. And buy some upgrades. But do keep an eye on the hunter. See, they've taken over here. Since they are under the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. It's not all the Hansa. It's just. Oh. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? They are popping up everywhere. Yeah, have a duel, enjoy. Yeah, I, I was expecting that at some point. What can we do? You know what we <laughs> You know what we're going to do? Is it Beverstedt? Isn't there that? So this is the seat of the Hansa. So if we seize that city, the Hansa is done. We just have to get this here. 
against a foe that is far, far beyond us. But if we just secure enough money, we will be able to take out the Hansa. Because we do have a trade post there. No, we don't. Why can I seize this now? Because I own the trade zone? Maybe. And the Hansa is not going to be able to take it away from me fully. Ah, they could be. If they built enough here, but they're not. They're spreading out. We'll just save up a good amount of money. The devil is at the root of our stuff. Okay, root them out. We're already losing money over this. Local tax modifier, minus 50%. Ouch. We can get 24,000 troops. Our retinues are still building up. Warn the court of witchcraft being practiced. We are no longer ambitious. You know what we're going to do? He might die from it. But we are going to sow dissent within the Holy Roman Empire. Another illustrious house has gone extinct. Shame. Peasants are pleased with the witch hunts. Good stuff. Let's imprison that lady. Okay, this guy ran, so let's kill the kid. Okay. Let's just protect everyone from witches. I've never had a witch shunt like that. Interesting. You. You have sown distrust between Mayor Luitpold and someone. Well, a guy, I mean. I suppose. Ragnar must learn on his own. We could make him brave, but he's just a nephew. And we do have our son here, ready to take over for us eventually. You are threatening. On aggression pact with Ireland, sure. Want an alliance too? Not very big though. Who could we get against the Holy Roman Empire? The Byzantines. Doesn't get us what we want. I hate you. I really hate that you can't just switch in between here. Just switch out people. Why not though? Shame. We're at war against the host who is there to claim the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, they bring 28,000 troops.
Probably no time like the present to try our little gambit to destroy the hunter. Wonder if I'm really doing this right. Adolf of Schwerin. So he's at war down here. Where is he leading troops? He's leading troops right now, isn't he? Where are you? Down here in the south. Are you sieging something? Where are you exactly? You're just standing around there. Very little of anything. Need more commanders. Oh, hello. Thirty one commander. I mean, he's kind of old, but doesn't matter too much. Where's this host? Okay, they're coming up. I think uh, this is probably the best ever opportunity to try this. The weirdest thing. Weirdest little attempt to take out a purely economical rival. So he is in the advantage because he has already got his troops raised and ready for war. I have to move them around still. Losing 50, but we have 80 to begin with, so we can get ourselves some mercenaries in this as well, and we should definitely do that. Why do these cost so much to hire? We'll have around 30 left for more people maybe we can get the Pisheng band lots of horses leave these as a def deterrence not as a defense as a deterrence that much is clear we'll also Split off our retinue because those stay home also as a deterrence. How many troops is this? One thousand nine hundred and ninety. So we'll add these to our home defense. Let's get our ships up. Let's sail all the way over here. Let's walk these all the way over here so we get a little bit of a view of where things might be happening. And then we just hope for the best. How much? How much money do we earn? I want to, this to update real quick. I've noticed Marshall Catty's hard work. And everyone seems to like him. Yeah. Morale of armies plus 10%. I'll take that. Not even a question. So how much do we earn? 22 gold is what we got left. 22 gold we shall invest. So we will not be taken by utter surprise. Could get two mercenary bands. The Finnish and the Sami. They're both small fry, but... 
They don't cost too much. That way it gives us a big sizable army here too. A bit of the mercenaries. We could then bring in again. Okay, let's land here. Um, can't sail down the Elbe. Just have to try and keep an eye on things somehow. Let's get a siege leader in the front seat, please. We'll have to sit on the sideline. This happens quickly and efficiently. For now, we'll keep these just one. Big army. Burn the witches. Okay, there's a 16,000 army that is just jumping on our big ones. We could abandon the siege to help them out to get the defensive bonus. We'll try. Yeah, we put someone in here. We have someone who's a good defender. Yeah, this guy. We'll lead here. We have a flanker who's halfway decent. No. Kind of want my best man in here. This is going to be a slaughter. Let's get this inspiring old leader in. Uh, no, that's not working. They will not survive that. Where are they going? They're heading out for my lands. Okay, that's 24,000 right there. I am very unsure about what to do. We'll send our troops home. I think it's the best option. He's going to come for our capital. We need to go back. Well, that might also be our best case scenario. If he feels like he can attack us at home. Maybe let's park our troops here. And let's... I can't split them off. Lead. I'm actually excited right now. Nervous. Get these on the boat. Everyone else also goes on the boat so they don't run into an army. So he's coming straight for us. He's not even waiting for a second. Yeah, he's coming. He doesn't care that we're moving troops in. Our small army just held him off for a second there. Which deterred all his troops from coming. And he sent only a bunch. Sorry, don't have money right now, go away. Yeah, this was the absolute best case scenario. Completely destroyed him. And now we go get him with everything we got. Oh, thank goodness. Are we leading? He's running. Well, he should. Okay, let's catch him here. Whew. Okay, I think there are more. But that's just six ships, so it's a maximum of 600? 6,000? Six 
Let's go take them out. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, let's split off our retinues and also split off the mercenaries. Don't touch them, split the mercenaries. If we stand down our troops, can we get some? There's some replenishment going on here? Not a lot, not a lot. Oh. Put these here. This we'll just keep there, just in case he, he gets weird ideas. Okay, there are more ships coming. Let's see what he does. He's attacking a trade post now. Where are you leading troops? Right here. Right there. Okay, this could be a major mistake. But we'll see in just a moment whether or not it is. Because I don't see enough. I don't know where his troops are. But he's moving further into the coast. We might just catch him. Please just let me imprison this man. <laughs> Would be fantastic. We need to be careful if ships show up down in Venice. Oh no, a revolt where? There. How do we do with this now? Split off our retinue, which is bigger. Okay, we send our retinue to deal with this. Or half of them. Let's send half our retinue to deal with this up here. Oh, this is exciting. Probably be good. I use my spy master to see a little bit further inland here. Down here, that's that's the oh, that's the ticket. Look at that. We can try and bait them to fight us here, or we just wait for them to move and attack us again at home. But while we wait, we might as well siege. Going south. Let's quickly switch around for a siege man. Along. We can somewhat extrapolate where he goes by watching where his uh, the rest of his troops are moving. He's going over this side now. Let's check how he's doing against his. Oh look! So he has an uprising. He's fighting us. But he's quite winning against this thing. How many troops does he have left? 29,000. So we're on somewhat even footing now. Afraid to look north. <laughs> How many ships can we raise here anyway? Enough to ferry these, and in absolute worst case scenario that I need 2,000 more men to finish something. Okay, first siege is done. Okay, okay, he's coming north. So he's probably going to try and engage us here, and with this army in this position, he's definitely going to win. So we are not even going to wait for him to show up. Because he's going to retake this. And then probably march on our capital again. 
Our nephew has become a traitor man. Uh, sieged it, and now he's coming straight for our capital again. That is where we also go. But to make it more palatable for him, we're going to put down our troops, split them in half and take half out again. So that way... It looks like we have a smaller army, and we get the bonus of replenishing some of the morale already. And he might be more inclined to attack us in such circumstances. Financially, we're still doing well enough. But we will need to prevent all these weird little sieges here that he's starting. Okay. These guys are almost there. Can we give him a better leader? Oh, but we can add a few. He doesn't do it alone. Another revolt. Okay. So here he comes. And once he's locked in, there he is, locked in, moving our troops. Because again, we're never ever going to get better conditions than these, ever, to fight him. Oh, that's great, that's great. He, he brought an holy order, he brought an holy order, a holy order, not an holy order. He brought a holy order. Which means nothing in our battle. Oh, that is that is fantastic. That is fantastic. I was thinking that was a full complement of troops. Nope. Oh, what a sound, sound victory. Fantastic. Fantastic. And we also took care of these. Oh, this is going well. Well, it's it's going much better than I than it had any right to go. That much is sure. Okay, let's send our troops back here again. You, everyone wants to marry us. Who are you? Let's go with France. Oh, we have techno. Oh, this is important. Infantry. More infantry, or more cavalry, or melee techniques. I think we go for more infantry. We're mainly on the defending end of things, usually. What do we need to keep upgrading our cities? This be What do we need for another, let's say, court? Cities and temples, five. Or greater. So this is four. We're sailing our troops around again to go once more into siege work. Again, equip our siege master to lead as we sit on the flank. I mean, again, I, I can't tell you how much of this is going to be due to our very, very skilled martial uh, commanders. That might make the majority of what is happening. Impossible to tell. Uh, probably not impossible, but I can't tell you. Dang. Girl, I have no patience for you right now. And money. So these... Let's see. Can we figure out how many troops he actually has from the Holy Order? Okay, up to 1,200 are Holy Order troops. 
So the 10,000 he's bringing to bear here. Okay, let's split our army. This is a dangerous one. This is dangerous now. We put these on the boat for now. Because he might decide to attack us here instead of at home. Once he has linked up his armies. Yep, he's coming south. So we need to land immediately. As to not have too little morale to fight him. Or we might go fight a different challenge. We don't know. Definitely not going for our capital right now. That's good. Oh. <laughs> lots of commander slots open. And more 30 level commanders. This is so insane. Our kinsman. Our kinsman needs to do other things. Who can we imprison? This guy still. Let's push in against these 300 there. Again, the reason why we see stuff down here is because we put a spy there. And that helps us greatly. So now that we are challenging the Holy Roman Empire, the Valdesian Uprising is actually not doing too badly down there. This is them. No, that's the Saxon Revolt. It's a different thing altogether again. We have taken the target of this war. Now things become a little bit more difficult again. But if we just stay out here on the coastlines, where we can immediately jump back to our ships, should be somewhat fine. We have lost a very tiny few battles. Okay, he's coming with 19,000 north. So he's probably going to take this back and do the whole dance with our capital again. But for now, we're going to wait and see what he does. Maybe we can get another siege through before he arrives. Once he reaches this, we need to move. Yep, time to move. Now we just sit and watch again. See, he came straight for us. So he'll siege these back, which is going to be quick. And then he's going to come for our island again. Oh no, he's not even sieging it. He's going straight for the throat. And we do the same thing again. Sadly, I mean, or luckily, the AI doesn't learn in such a way. So if we do the same gambit as we did before, we put half our troops down here, make it more enticing for him to come. And half back on the ship. All a half goes back on the ship. He'll think himself superior and not consider the troops on the, on the ship we got. We're at 92%. If he loses this again, we're done. We won. And I don't see much of a reason why we wouldn't win this again. We have the numbers. We have the position. Everything is in our favor here. And they just lost 6,000 or 5,000 to attrition. We wouldn't even have needed to send in our additional eight. But that's that seals it. Alright, and all this death and destruction. Okay, let's see if it worked. Be on pause. It did not work. Where's the hunter now? Lübeck. Oh, 
But you are your own kingdom now. Damn it. Well, but we know we can take on the Holy Roman Empire now. We have trialed and errored our way through this. And we know we can do it. This is going to cost us a little bit more for a while, but... Yeah, okay. We have defeated the Holy Roman Empire at pretty much the height of its power. We did take uh, an opportunistic approach, clearly. Because they were not just fighting us, but also fighting off... Oh, look, Transylvania has its own little piece. They were not just fighting us off. So that's pretty okay. Seize this city now, which doesn't matter all that much. Interesting stuff. That was fun. That was a real fun uh, experiment. And now we know that we need to go for Lübeck. Meaning we need to fabricate a claim out here in Lübeck. Because we do not have a trade post there. So we can't just seize our way through it. But I believe the Hansa has nothing else. What do you hold? Let's see. You have... The Grand City of Lübeck and the House of Schwerin. Which is in here as well. So if we take Lübeck, the Hansa is out. We have really, really, really taken a toll out of them. I hope there is going to be a lot of stuff happening now that breaks them apart. The opportunity is there, people. Go seize it. There will never be a better time to challenge the Holy Roman Empire than now. We have prepared the soil. Now go plant your claims, people of all nations. Do not let the oppression of the Germans stand. And why are we still losing so much money? Come on, update game. There we go, back to earning like a attrition. They should remake that song. Walk like an Egyptian to earn like a patrician. Whoever heard this idea and can make it a, re a reality, this idea is now yours. Please give me a shout out when your video explodes inevitably and you have an influx of millions and millions of subscribers. Keep me in your prayers. Please don't forget me man who gave you the best idea of your life and I really hope that there's going to be a bunch of wars now probably not we took our shot sadly we lost a bit but there's also a truce now and we could probably even take on the 50,000 if they act like they did before which they probably would so we are at 53 minutes now, I think that is fitting to having just beaten an empire with 50 something thousand troops. Thanks for watching and see you around. <laughs>